Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be setting up your new iPhone 8 right here. It's the same thing if you guys have a 7 or even a 6S, exact same instructions. So right here, we're going to start with basics, your SIM card. So your SIM card is going to go right on the side. You guys do get this tool within your box, so just look for it. It's going to be like this in one of these things. All right, so we're just going to leave that on the side. We're going to take out our SIM tray. So this is your SIM card. And don't get that confused with an SD card, by the way. This is not for your memory. Is for your phone to work as a phone so we're going to insert that very first thing right here no it's not completely necessary that you insert it before we begin the whole thing but it's better if you do that way we're ready to go next power it up so that power button's right here on the side later on we will take this out and i always like to take this out whenever i'm gonna put in the screen protector so that's the only reason i haven't taken this out just yet so here's your power button we're just gonna hold on to it and then we should see an Apple logo. All right, so that's the very first thing. Now, if you guys had an iPhone before, yes, as long as you guys made an iCloud backup, we can just load up your backup right here. Everything's gonna be good. Or you guys could sync it up with your computer using iTunes, which is free. iTunes is compatible with Mac and PC. However, today we're just gonna do the iCloud way. So to get started, just press the home button. That's right here. And then we're just gonna go into English. From there, choose wherever you guys are from. Then you can set up manually. Right here, tech and design. That's my Wi Fi. Your Wi Fi will obviously be different. Once it connects, it should say something like this. It may take a few minutes to activate your phone. So, yes, you do need Wi Fi in order to activate your phone. So, go somewhere that there's decent Wi Fi. It doesn't have to be the best Wi Fi, but as long as it works. So, let's just tap on continue then set up touch ID. For this part, I do recommend taking this out. However, in this case, we can just avoid this, but I do want to show you how this is. So I'm going to go on and do it. So continue, and then adjust your grip, press continue, and go on. And continue on, create a passcode. You guys can always, always not use a passcode. So you get, for that, you guys can just go to passcode options and then just not use one if you don't want one. In this case, we do want to set up one up, so we're just gonna type it something in, and it's gonna ask us to retype that passcode. Once you do that, it's gonna say exactly this. So, like I told you guys, you could do it from iTunes, that means from your computer, all right, or from iCloud, or you can move your data from Android, or don't transfer apps and data, that means you're starting from fresh, okay? So in this case, we're just gonna do it from iCloud backup, for those of you who are brand new into this, you wouldn't go there. You would do this last option. So I'm just going to tap there so you guys can see. And from here, all you guys have to do is create an Apple ID. So you would choose this option if you are new into Apple. So you can just create a free Apple ID. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to get started. So right now, I'm just going to go back. I want to show you how you guys can transfer stuff from one iPhone to another. So restore from backup. I'm just going to type in my Apple ID. Once you put in your Apple ID plus your password, it's just going to take you here. From here, just scroll down, tap on agree. From there, you guys could see these options or maybe just one. Okay, so obviously choose the latest one for you guys. So in this case, I'm going to choose this. Once I choose that, I will see this option. So I'm just going to go into continue, then enable the services. You guys can also disable them. However, in order to use anything like Google Maps and stuff like that, you do need that location services on. Here you guys can set up a credit card if you guys want or not. That's if you guys want to pay with your phone at any place. However, for most of you, it's going to be later. So we're going to set that up later. This again, you guys can choose whether to use it or not. I'm going to choose not to use right now. And then Hey Siri. So we're just going to continue on and set up Hey Siri. I do suggest sharing with Apple developers. You guys can always skip that. You guys can also choose don't share. It depends on you guys. For this part, let's just click on continue. And here we go. So this is the longest part that you guys are gonna do because it's importing everything from iCloud into your new phone. So remember, if you guys wanted to do this, first you guys had to back up on iCloud on your old iPhone. And then all you guys have to do is put in your iCloud ID here and do exactly what I just showed you and everything's gonna transfer into your phone. So we're just gonna wait a bit until everything transfers. So after a little bit, if you guys just leave your phone, it might ask you to get back in, so just press your home button. 
and if you guys set up passcode just put it in now and everything should be downloaded or some apps might still be downloading at this point so if i scroll through i should see some apps downloading others just waiting and there we just have to leave it and let it load everything and we are done our setup anyways that's it for our setup go ahead start using your iphone if you guys have any questions comments you guys can write it down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you